I want to talk to you today about uh, an important missionary concept, uh, and that is opening your mouth. Uh, opening your mouth and uh, declaring the gospel of Jesus Christ, uh, your testimony of Him and of the restored gospel of the Book of Mormon and of the Prophet Joseph Smith. Opening your mouth uh, is essential as a missionary. Yeah, it's, it's a hard thing to do. Uh, but the, the Doctrine and Covenants is full of scriptural uh, references and commandments to open your mouth. Take Doctrine and Covenants uh, 60 verse 2, for example, where the Lord says, With some I am not well pleased, for they will not open their mouth because of the fear of man. Uh, Doctrine and Covenants 33 has uh, at least three references uh, where the Lord says, Open your mouths. In verse 8, He says, Open your mouth, uh, and it shall be filled. In verse 9, he says, open your mouth and spare not. And again in verse 10, he says, open your mouth uh, and it shall be filled. Um, the, the promises are great to missionaries. If they will make that effort to, uh, e even if they're young, even if they're weak in terms of their ability to speak, uh, if they open their mouth and share their testimony, the Lord will fill it with the right words and it will penetrate the hearts of the people listening. Missionaries uh, generally open their mouth uh, in, uh, in three ways. I would say uh, door knocking, uh, bus contacting, and street contacting. Uh, door knocking is probably the most common one throughout the world. Uh, as a missionary in Argentina, though, uh, believe it or not, I didn't knock that very many doors. Uh, so I'd like to talk uh, a little bit more about bus contacting and street contacting in Argentina. Uh, we had no cars, we had no bikes. Everywhere we went, we either walked or we took the bus. Uh, so we had a lot of opportunities. Uh, I ran into a lot of people in the streets and on the bus. And uh, I can remember uh, as a young missionary, being uh, pretty shy and unsure of myself. Uh, my first companion was a great example, though. Every time we took the bus, he sat down and he talked to somebody uh, about the gospel. Uh, after a week or two, he finally challenged me to, to try it out. And uh, with uh, some trepidation, I sat down beside someone on the bus and uh, struck up a conversation. Uh, and surprisingly, it went well. Uh, and uh, the guy was very friendly. Of course, not everyone uh, you talk to on the bus will be friendly and, and want to hear your message. But it's a great way to, uh, to spread the gospel and to open your mouth in any moment. Uh, street contacting was probably the primary way um, in Argentina that I had of finding new people to teach. Uh, and by street contacting, I, I mean in the parking lots, walking down the street, and when you're in the store, talking to an attendant. Uh, just about any of these scenarios, everyday uh, life scenarios, open your mouth, tell people who you are, and, and, and testify of, of Jesus Christ and of our message. Um, if I hadn't done that, um, we never would have met and baptized the Almada family. We never would have met the Godoy family, a great family. Uh, they were in a photo uh, development store, and we walked in and we struck up a conversation, uh, and they eventually were baptized. Uh, a guy named Juan Carlos Lopez, literally, we're just walking down the street, and we ran into him and started talking to him, and he was eventually baptized. So um, I encourage you uh, missionaries uh, and you young future missionaries, um, to prepare yourself, practice talking to people about the gospel, uh, and remember the commandment to open your mouth and testify at all times and in all places. Um, you'll be blessed, uh, and the Lord will be able to uh, uh, work miracles uh, through you as you do so.